Well, one kick out again. We're going to need to work harder. As Sean mentioned earlier, that haircut might be throwing JJ off a bit. Big hit there. Great hit. And Chuck Cassidy comes out. Ah, oh, ref now. Delayed there. We don't have instant replay, unfortunately. Number six on the ball here. Taking the free. Not that much movement from the Parnells players. I actually wasn't watching. I you did. <laughs> you, you're, yeah. He's well capable. I'm not saying he's not, but it would be a bit odd now for Dylan St. Alon. You know, he's doing a lot of walking with the dog lately. He's he's looking fit. But the dog, Willow, Willow, I believe. Willow. Killian Murphy coming out with the ball. Stephen Cluxton facing him. An absolute blend of youth and experience there. Paul Flynn on the ball, on the right side. Takes a solo. Loves that dummy. Hand passed off to Killian Perry making the run. Killian Perry outside the boot in. Great ball into Brian Walzer. Skims by him just a bit too much. Wide ball. Good defender by Parnells there. Parnells again looking to get a bit of prominence out of this kick out. They've set up very well from the start of the game. If you're just joining us, it's 2 1 to Fingalians. 10 minutes gone. Finn's playing with a very stiff breeze. Finn's need to push up on these kick outs. They're getting them way to add another one. John, we've, we've spoken about this from the start of the game. Yeah, it looks like Finn's are playing a man back, so. Interesting. They have a spare man. That's a great tackle for Finn. Cluxton seems to get. Don't shoot. Don't shoot, Cluxton. Good ball. Number 10 on it now against the breeze. Good hand pass in. Number 11. He's a bit afraid to shoot. Oh, wide ball. Good defender from Connor Grimes there. He's defended well from the start on the number 11. Number 11 looks dangerous. Connor would be used to that role from a soccer days. You know what I mean? You would. As you mentioned, though, he would be disappointed to hear Liverpool are 3-0. 3-0. So That's... It's poor, but it's champions against champions there today, so... Look. That's well won by Killian Power. Pats is on the run. Straight through the centre. That's a great hand pass really? into Flinner. Flinner's in on goal here. Goes very early and sticks it over. That's a great score from the Gallians. Kick out. Two passes and Flinner's over the bar. Great score. 3-1 from Gallians. Ten minutes gone. Man down from Finns. Killing power down now. The Boganazi, Heath Hayward's in looking after him. We are. You mute that one because it's going to come from now. Yeah. Killing power. He just got a bit of treatment there off the Boganazi, Heath Hayward, looking after the club. Finn's really pushing down the kickouts now. That seemed a bit short to myself, but look. Too many steps there as well. Parnell's coming out well with the ball. They seem to be attacking the game very well with the running game. Big run up here through the centre of the pitch from number three. Passes a bit too far. Number 11 v 11 here. Connor Kelly marking their centre forward. Great pick up from Connor. Coming back down the left side for Finns. They go back inside the right. Connor Grimes with the ball. Loves an inside the boot pass all the way down to Murtha. Murtha needs to get to this. Well taken on by Murtha. On to JJ. JJ with a poor shot earlier, so gives an inside. Lack of communication there, and it's turned over by Finns. Patsy went half hours for that one now. Well, Finns can't afford to do that, especially against a team like Parnells. They'll, they'll go through you for a shortcut, you know what I mean? Parnells looking to move the ball here a bit quick. Number 10 seems to get a lot of the ball here, Sean. Up the line. Deep. Number 14, looks like a wiry old fox. That is some peach. Un well call defended. Don't call him wiry now, Finn. Ah. He's definitely not wiry. I'd say he is. Wiry really means tall, skinny. But sure, you know what I meant. Oh, I Dylan Stanton on the ball here, a bit deep than usual. Patsy demanded the number eight jersey I'm hearing inside the changing room. Fins. He oh, Flinner waiting for the ball. That's well a good take. Don't go outside the boot. Oh my God, what a score! I said go for it. <laughs> He's all heard me. I said go for it. Great score from Paul. Paul, congratulations just again the two babas, the twins. That's for them. Just gave the thumbs up to me there, lads. So. Um, it is Sive and Lewis, I believe. That's that's just a rumour mail now. I don't know. 
I heard David Killeen was helping him pick the name, so you know, no chance there. But look, we'll move on. Number three on the ball. He seems very comfortable on the, the ball, number three. Usually you'd expect Sean beside me here would be a fullback and he wouldn't be comfortable on the ball. So we're just a bit surprised that the, the fullback is so comfortable on the ball for Paranels. It's very, it's, it's refreshing to say the least. Number 10 on the ball here. Number eight. Back out. Paranels again doing the keep ball. Two minutes till the water break here. Cluck on the ball here. Good ball. Out into the corner. Michael Cowell picking him up. Thinking about it. Well defended oh, ball. by Bain, the fullback, Danny Campion. Loves the contact, loves it. Killy Murphy, left foot, looking for the. Oh, it gives it away. Number eight picks it up. It's a few turnovers from Finns now. I think, as you mentioned, Sean, a bit half hard to go for the ball. That's good tackling from Jamie Cassidy. That is superb tackling. Bit of afters there. There's a bit of afters here. Oh. There's a bit of a fight breaking out. We don't want to see this in a cup match. We don't want to see this in any type of match. But you have to stand up for your teammates at the end of the day. Someone's messed with Danny Kahn in there. I'm going to tell him to get out of there because he's wasting his time. He's the last person you want to start a fight with now. If anyone has seen The Dark Knight Rises, Danny is Bane. He is a menace. You do not want to deal with him. He will destroy you. Right now, calling for the throw up here. I don't think that's justified at all. Two men in it. So Finns keep the free. John, I suppose that's that's just part of the game, isn't it? 100% right there, Shane. I don't know. We don't want to see any of that in the game. It's true. We're out here to play football, you know. Two yellows leave it at that, right? Surely. If the referee, he's wearing yellow, he'll give yellow. Good observation, Shane. There's punches, the referee is saying here, I think. A lot of animations from the ref. No point real in the game with two red cards. Now. There was a red card in the last game there. Now, Finns seemed to deal better with the red card than Ravens did. And they went on to win by 9 or 10 Get points. Up. A yellow for each. Right decision by the ref. Seems like it's a throw up. So that's almost a double. A double. Now, that should still be a free to Finns. I agree. Because there were two yellows. Yes. So. so it's a double negative on Finns there. Champions up. Well won by 14. Oh, Jesus. Oh, bit, bit of boy here now. There's a bit of boy here. Well done, Dobby. Great ball out by Killian Power. Off to Walter. Finn's on the break here. Down the line, Stoney. He's two men on him. Well defended by Parnells there. Number three again, comfortable on the ball. I'm sure we've said that all day. Number six. Number six. He's wearing them Predator Manias. You know he's some sort of footballer with them on. You know yourself. See... Number eight now on the ball on the deep right side of the Parnell's attack. Coming to mind. Patsy Tees a bit there going in and out. Well defended by Michael Hill. He's got three or four of them now. Just stepping on front, getting that mark. Patsy O'Neill on the ball. Bit of a high ball there from Patsy O'Neill. Looking for JJ. The haircut threw him off a bit there, I think, Sean. You're onto something with that one. Water break, it seems here. The ref waving his hand as if he's in a bull pit in Spain. Good first quarter there from Finns. Obviously, it's tough for Parnell's going against the wind. How's that? It's tough. Bush. Every team has to do it. I'd like to say happy birthday to Jackie Howard there. Jackie Howard, is it? Jackie, yeah. no relation of mine now. Bush. DJ's mother. I wouldn't happy mind if birthday. she was my relation because she's a great lady. Yeah. She's having three kids at home there, three dogs, a grandchild. Sure, you can't keep up with everything. You can't be doing it. And look, back to football. Finns dealing well with the win here. I think we need to at least get a goal. We need to be going into break with 1 8 and keeping them at 2 points. Parnells look strong, look very comfortable keeping the ball. They could definitely be pinging. That's been said. Now, the referee did well there, I feel, not to send the boys off. That was a bit of a talking point in the first half, but so far, performer of the game, really enjoying the way Michael Kale's playing. He's attacking that ball. Danny Campion attacking the ball very well. Patsy seems to be the man they want to get on the ball the most. He's a very good ball player. Pretty interesting now in midfield, probably the missing Coleman, but yes, probably should be more... Patsy wouldn't have the, the natural size, but I think the, the opposition would get distracted by the hair. The silver fox, as he calls fox. himself, like, you know, it's, it's... He looks like he's nearly 40, but he's only 24. He's only 24, is he? Only 24. I thought he wasn't a day younger than 40. Actually, he's only 23. He'll be 24 in November. Patsy, happy birthday when November comes. Good luck. Um, 
Referee's calling the players in here now. I think it's starting off with a... Is it a Finsk account or is it a free? I can't remember. John, you're my go-to. Line ball. Line ball. Line ball, as I remember. Arnell's getting a bit animated here now. Just They have seem to have the coach in here helping them out a bit. It looks like an actual a good blend of youth between... Looks like a good blend of youth and experience between the Parnells team. They seem to have a. Parnells always have a knack of producing very good footballers. You know? Like, down the years, whenever. They were a great Division 1 team for a while. Can you give examples there, Shane? Well, Cluxton. Can you give another example? They also had a few blow ins playing where, obviously, they got them into play, so they had the likes of Colin Begley come in. Connor Mortimer, he ran the gym a bit in there. I know for a fact. Ran into the ground, I think. Sure, they're recovering. You'd rather be recovering than not recovering at all. Parnell's here with the ball, number nine. Two midfielders, big, big men compared to the Finns. As we said with the Silver Fox, he might not be up to their height, but he's got such a, a big heart, you know? Number six on the ball with the Predator Manius. Loves a dummy solo. That's a throw ball, surely, ref. Back out. Midfielder, stretching them big, long legs. Into the corner here to number 13 on Michael Kyo, who's having a good Free in there, I didn't see that, but... Ref is fairly convinced since he blew the whistle. It's going to be a tough free. Oh, he's. Is he calling the number 14 here? Oh, it's a free. Number 14 on the free here. About 35 yards out on the right hand side of the pitch, kicking against the breeze. So, as we mentioned earlier, it's going to be a very tough free. Show Captain aware of the ref as if he was his pennies manager, trying to get time off, but look. Free now. Very that's that win. Hey, he's stealing a few. Oh, he's going for the outside of the boot, I think, Sean. So I right call side. it. I need to call it. That's not bad. That's a wonderful effort. That is wonderful. As both Egan would say, he's a stallion. That was phenomenal there. Very good kick from the full four. And he's talking to the ref now. I think he's talking about giving it for two points rather than one. That's the rumor I'm getting here. That's what's being said back from the, the fourth official. I'd give two points for that. What a fetch. That is some fetch. Oh, he's that. Oh, that's good. Jamie getting on the ball now. Across to his half back line partner, Grimesy. Across the other half back line member, Killian Murphy. A very youthful half back line. Doesn't stand on the ball here, driving what he does best. Trying to get it onto that Little rocket of a rifle. Killian Power, he's doing well here. Short. Well kept out by the keeper. Killian's getting back to fitness though. He's looking very well at the moment. He's yeah, feeling. He's all With injury, injuries. of course. But he's, he's such a player now. of massive, massive importance to Finn, so it's great to see him back out there and feel the ball like no other man can. Well defended by Jamie Castley there. Inside to Murtha. Inside to Flinner. Flinner looks at the post as if he wants it. Flinner come back out. Killian Murphy making a great run down the left hand side. Killing on to a run the pace. Full lights have just came on here if anyone's struggling with the uh, the lights. Patsy on the ball here, as we mentioned earlier. The real ball player in this upper eight players of Finns. Over to JJ. Finns happy to go across the pitch, waiting for that move to be made. Good ball from Flinner inside. Off to Grimes, he back to Flinner. Off to Brian Wilder. Wants it on that right foot, takes the round. He wants it again. That is a great score from Brian Wilder. Fabulous score from Brian Wilder. About 20 yards left on that one. Yes. I think that would have been over even against the Braves. That's just, you know... Brian, wonderful kicker of the ball. Absolute goal poacher, I'd say, as well. A natural for it. Sean, that's exactly how I would describe it. Finn's really pushing out for the kick house now. Parnells have got on top of their own kick in the first half. Over to Killian Murphy. And is that Stephen? Oh, it is Stephen Cluxton. Stephen Cluxton, that's a trademark punch. You know, he, he loves it. Never to a player, but only mm. to the ball. Number eight doing well here. Murth attacking very hard. Across the pitch to number six. Fred Romania coming up the pitch. Centre of the pitch. Parnell's building steadily here. 5 2 at the moment. They'll be quite happy with that score against the Stern Breeze. Finn's defence is dealing very well with the ball in. They seem to be out in front of Mount. I know John Quinn has tried to drill it into the players all year long, getting out in front how important it is. Flinner seems to get on a bit more ball as well, which is making a big difference to Finn's play. He looks up for it today. He does look up for it. That's a good ball down into Kiro Murth into the corner. Back out to Killian Murphy. Left footed player. Dylan Staunton now. Has it about 45 yards out. Has it? 
Oh, that's that's a great score from Dylan Stodden. Continuing his absolutely brilliant year with the club. I suppose that's the key defence, getting it to their shooters with this wind. As I mentioned, they probably need 1 8 or 1 9 going into the break. Right, there's about a handful of players that want to get the ball into their hands and try to go put it over. That was good by JJ there. I agree with that, Sean. Go on. Get it to the people that can put the ball over the bar. 100%. Patsy here now, the Silver Fox. Don't going for the 1 2. Patsy doesn't want it on the left foot, I don't think. Oh, that's a. That's a brilliant ball inside from Patsy O'Neill. JJ, your control. Back in. Come on, JJ. That's a fabulous ball back out from JJ. Patsy, head down. That is a super score from Patsy O'Neill. I'm fairly sure he's from the Rathbeal area. Rathbeal have produced some footballers Rathbeal. and hurlers the there now. Donny Keane, Sinead Finnegan, Waffles. He was some player back in the day. But I feel the real stronghold of Fingalians and Patsy's just adding to that value. Getting word in now that it's 4 3 Liverpool full time. 4 3 Grimesy, 4 3 brother. Penalty from Mo Salah. A hat trick. Well taken by Killian Murphy. Over to Walter. Walter back out to Flinner. Looks like a few steps from Flinner. Oh, Flinner, what a ball. Hard luck. Win took it. Against the breeze, we can try them balls because we'll hold up. You know yourself, Sean. Okay. Now the keeper's walking a bit here. If I was the ref, I'd be pulling them up quicker. Because the tactic is quite obvious from Parnells here. Slow the game down against the breeze. Parnells looking for the kick out now. Grimes, he defended from the front, defending well. Seems to be a bit of communication. Ah, Finns have let them back. Not so much the Finns are doing poor on the kick out shot. I think Parnells have been very good on their own kick outs. Awesome, awesome. I agree, they, have, they definitely have a strategy. Benson number 15 here, he looks dangerous, lefty I think, when he gets on the ball. Cluxton. Ah, sure, he's only giving it to his next his next, uh, his next double goalkeeper. Well, you know, Would you think that Stephen Cluxton has a hand in the strategy for Parnell's kick outs? I would think not. I would, based on what I've heard from Conor Mortimer and Begley, nothing to do with it. Fair enough. <laughs> Pats on the out the ball. Seems like it's going to be a... Patsy, Patsy and Flinner have seemed to make a bit of a dynamic duo over there. Would you agree, Sean? Yeah, Connor Kelly. The ball off the shore, I think a massive thing from the... That is just why from Kenny Murphy. Just talking about the two young lads there, Connor Kelly and Kenny Murphy. The young lads have made a serious impact with the panel this year. The likes of Connor Kelly, Killian Murphy, Michael Keogh. Don't let me forget anyone. Who am I forgetting? Kyle Lynch up training with us all the time. Murtha looks young, but he's actually a wiry old... He's an elf at this stage, isn't he, Sean? Martha is the exact Chris opposite. He's tied down. Shared bank account, I heard, and all. That's what I'm hearing. Martha over our side now. Number 15. Or number 10 on the ball. Cluxton. Cluxton just seems happy to keep the ball a bit. That's it, Ryan. Go on. I don't know. All the Parnells players do seem very comfortable with the ball. It's a great trade to have with your team, and they all want the ball. They need to start making a bit of inroads towards the Finns goal, though. If you look there, Shane, there's about five or six of them standing there. Ah, Cluxton. Cluxton, give up. That was, was that a bit of a oh, pull back? A few Finns players getting a bit annoyed here with each other. Yeah, right with some choice words there. Sorry if you heard that. Sorry. Oh, nearly an own goal was that there. Thought Mo Salah was going to be in again. Carnell's coming in with the centre of the pitch. Out to Cluxton. Cluxton seems to be getting a bit deeper with the ball. Number 10 on the ball. Back out to five. I suppose the key for Finns now is just not to concede another point and try and tag on one or more two. One or two more, should I say, Sean. My English has gone embarrassingly bad with the Number six up here, Predator Mania. Good ball out. Well defended by Killian Murphy. He's having a storm or so far. The ref threw the hand up for advantage there and then took it down quicker. Says he was going for a bus. Number eight, off the post. Cluxton wearing the 2013 All Ireland final boots, actually. Did you notice that? I have noticed this then, actually. Mm, interesting choice now. He's just standing there. He knows he's, he's judging the game. Number nine here with a, a lovely outside the boot. Danny Campion gobbles them up all day. They're his bread and butter. Danny, he's going to get a nosebleed if he goes any further. Stay back. Well, that. Head to Flinner. Flinner with. Oh, Parnell seems to have a lot of men back. And we're getting sucked out a bit here, I think, for Gallians there. 7 2 to Fingalians, by the way, with four minutes left. They're probably, the they're probably at six or seven due to uh, the water break. 
up the pitch here now to number that's an interesting ball that's a very interesting ball number 13 is in that's good defending by Michael Keogh number 13 still has it oh could have been a goal but a good point from Parnells that was a great ball from number 14 around the corner tough one to defend as well because Mikey kind of ran over it a bit but 7-3 now 4 points in it about 6 minutes to go in the first half Ian O'Reilly with the kick out good movement here from the Finns players Great take from Dylan Staunton. It gives them a great platform when they have the likes of Dylan Staunton and Killian Power. But there's no one inside now. The Silver Fox. It went higher than it went further. Patsy. It was a savage run. But the ref blowing the whistle very aggressively here. Who's he calling? He's calling one of the Parnell's defenders. Something to do with me. And I suppose that's the sign of a good referee, isn't it? Not being too rash with the cards. Not handing out many slices of cheese today, Ben. What red cheese have you had? Black no, cheese. Talking about just normal Black cheese. cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Black cheese. Red cheese. You're like all red cheddar. Red cheddar. Ah, but it's not that red. It wouldn't be a cheese fan myself, you know me. Wouldn't be a number six on the ball. Patsy doing well tracking them here. Let's get the haircut as well, I think he did. Yeah, I was talking to Dan, he says he got it. Is he there yesterday? Cluck's been taking on Killy Murphy. Bit of a bit of a get off me there. Long ball into the full forward line. Great hit. Oh, Danny robbed him. Murth on the brakes very well there. Flynn around the ball. Coming up to the Finn 65. Seems to be a good bit of attack in here on the right. And then Killy Murphy coming up here on the left. Once that outside the boot. That is a gorgeous ball over to Killian Murphy, the young man. Killian Murphy, good ball down the line. To Brian Wilder, collects it very well. That is a superb score from Brian Wilder. Two now for today. That's two for the day now, and this man has talent. We just, he needs to get the ball into him, and he will do damage. That was a great I'll move though, yet. from back to front. Coming all the way here from the defence, up on the right side. That's the switch of play from Killian that really does it. Keenan Murphy then has the presence of mind to slip the ball into Walzer, takes on his man and pops over the bar with that win. 8-3 Finns, about four minutes to go in the first half. Parnell shouting here to open the legs. Number three, he looks like Hickey. He certainly doesn't play like him. He's very comfortable on the ball. He's kicked it five or six times. More than Sean's kicked in his career. Ah, here's Gluckston now on the ball. 2013 bits. Seems to be a few complaints there for a free in. Number 13, the full forward line is very powerful in here for Parnell's. Another free in. Rash tackle there by Grandy. It was a um, the full forward line looking strong for Parnell's though. So they are at number 14. I'd be caught. Can you go with the outside of the boot again? I, I, and it's not just that. It's, I'd be cautious about in the second half there with that wind. And you, Cluxton here, pinging. Two, um, two very strong full forwards on both teams, obviously. We, you stand I, I don't know the name of this Parnell fellow, but he's out on front. He's kicking. He's not kicking this one, actually. He's going to let... But Staunton, he's doing well. He's doing very well at the moment. He's getting up, winning ball. Taking on the scores when they're there. And I, I think it's all down to his Rathfield chipper order. If anyone wants it, you can DM him. It's a huge order. But, um, here. Two garlic cheese chips, battered sausage. Chicken tenders short, and a chicken short, burger. That's short from the Parnell's Every man. Friday night. Every Friday night, if anyone didn't hear that. But Danny Campy coming out here with the ball. Good hand pass out. Killing power. Inside to Grimesy. Grimesy onto Patsy O'Neill. Finn's doing this well, switching the ball, going side to side. Dylan's run away from it. I think he thinks the chipper is over this way. Get back in. Starting on the ball. Murphy's still on the ball. Back out to Fleming. Kenny Murphy on the ball again. Bit of keep ball from Finns here. That is a score from Paul Flynn from about 45 yards out on the left side. A superb kick. Well done all the way out from Staunton. Even the Parnells bent behind the pair. They're giving out. They're bending out. Gonna go fair, fair side. That was well worked out, all the way down from Dillon Stone, all the way across the pitch. 
Coco on the ball. On the 15. Left foot. Left foot. Number eight's getting on a lot of ball, Sean. Big man. He's a big man, isn't he? Number 14. Experience. Outside the boot. 14 on the ball again. Well defended by Connor Kelly. Good first half from Fingalians there. 9 3 at the break. We'll be back for further updates in the second half. <laughs>
Are we on? Are we back on? Can you hear me? Scully likes it anyway. Does he? Yeah. Shout out to Aiden Scully for uh, appreciating the commentary today. It's uh, myself and Sean's debut today, so we just like to give a big shout out to all the supporters. Um, much appreciated. Much appreciated. I think second half. Looking for a similar enough game. We want. A lot chillier now. Second half. A bit chilly now. A bit chilly. <laughs> Throw it here. <laughs> to Fins. Come <laughs> across on the ball. Fins will probably want to play and keep a ball. Chuck Casting. Hey. JJ seems to have a bit of a director role with the hands up there. A bit similar to Owen Brady in the hurling when he gives away a free. The hands go out. That's if he's going to. Um, he's going to start. Oh, that's true. Good tackle there from JJ. Fender controlling the game here in the last 15 minutes. Oh. Back out to Kelly. Kelly out to Killian Power. Out to the young man, Killian Murphy. Few killings in this team now. Right, into Martha. Kieran Martha on the ball. Same for the W. That's a good block for the number six. Now Parnell's will try to block. I think Cluxon's playing a bit of a deep role here. Could be playing a bit of a sweeper. The Dyson Hoover. Up and down the pitch. Number five on the ball. Up on the right wing. That's a very long ball in. That's, that's a great ball. That's a... That's a good score. That's the way Parnells are going to look to play a second half. Direct ball into that full forward line we talked about in the first half. That number 14 seems to be the target every time. Well, when you have the 14 there winning the ball, and you have the two men around on the break. Makes it a lot easier, it's isn't it? Ve it's, very, it's very tough to defend. And Finns are going to, like, they have, a, they have experience in there with Campion. And they need to get the cornerbacks around Danny to help him more. Good run from Patsy there, but Patsy's after stopping. It's a big kick out from here already. Parnells up to have it again. Mark. You can't take the mark and then go again, ref. We'll say nothing though. But look. Parnell's moving the ball well here. The boy Number is coming through there. Show him opinions, man. Go on. Number 14 out again, Sean. Yeah, yeah. We talked about this. MVP of the second half so far, even though we're two minutes in. Number 12. Oh, Cluxton taking the free here. He stared the ref down a bit there. As if it was a uh, WrestleMania. Looking at his opponent in the eyes. We do have to talk about Clucks not taking the freeze on that side, though. It's really there's something. It's, I'm baffled. As am I. I'm baffled that he's not hitting them, though. Flabbergasted. Like, you don't let. You wouldn't let Milner hit on the right foot for Salah. So why would you let that happen? You know what I mean? You wouldn't do it. Free and air for Pernas. Wide ball, and sure it would have been. Probably justified for the stare down from Cluxton. Kick out from in. Sub here, 21. Sean, you know what I like to do with players when they're coming on. What? 21 reminds me of the Pirlo. Pirlo. Pirlo's oh. gonna try and get on the ball here, deep. A master this game. You know, that's, it's, it's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. You know with the kick out. Great kick out to Michael Keough. Michael running up the line. Michael still on the ball. Conor Kelly on the ball. Flipping her out on the wing. Brian Wiles are on the ball. Running at them. Killing power. 55 yards out. Killy Murphy on the ball again. Killy Murphy attacking again. As we mentioned, Sean, very tough against this breeze, especially when the defence is packed like that and trying to run through it. You can hear the team captain across the pitch there, Usher, Ushie Lynch, with the movement of the hand there, trying to, uh, trying to pretty much get the team to move the ball quick. That is a massive kick from there, just tails off wide in the end, but it's good setup from Parnells, they're defending well here, you can see what they're trying to do, they're trying to defend deep, and they hit them on the break with the long ball. Well, you said it there Shane, it's fucking yeah. interesting, it's worth saying, the amount of numbers from guys in permission today, from injuries, from like Palmer and Nushin to none of the hurlers being available. Well the hurlers are in the catch final next week, are they? I heard that as well. See you soon. Oh there's a mistake here, Stannon's in. Stannon's in. 
that's well defended by Parnells. Back out to Flinner. Good score. Could have been a could have been a goal, but look, they're happy to take the point in the end. Small matter of an intermediate final next Saturday. And we wish them the best of luck, all the players. We do. Kick out from Parnells. Wonder will Parnells try and go along with the kick out tactics now in the second half. They did very well in the first half. That's a big kick out. Patsy, Patsy won a kick out. That is huge from the Silver Fox, and he's he, he's reveling that role, to be honest. Kelly Murphy, he's got a mount of the ball today. For such a young lad, he's so confident on the ball. Lovely left foot, and Flinner, Flinner's really demanding the ball in this game. You can see it in him. The legs are still there a bit. He's running the show at the moment. Back out to Patsy. Out to Killian Power, who's had a very solid game so far. Nearly ran out of play. Killian keeps it in. Conor Grimes trying to orchestrate what's going to happen here. Acting a bit like the Jordan Henderson of Fingalians, isn't he? Back out to Patsy O'Neill. Patsy O'Neill to contact. Could have took the mark there, I think, was it? Killian Power. Oh, that's a good strip from the Paranels defender. That's a very good dispossession. Bad knee as well, Finn's having a man over there, shooting up into the club end. Outside the boot here from the defender. Good ball down. That is a great take from Pirlo. Pirlo with the one-handed take. That was a beautiful take. Number seven here, who started off the attack. Back in number ten. A few steps there taken. Great tap. Oh, Blake Hall, but probably the right call. Came, came from under, free into Parnells. Number 14 coming out to take, trying to swing it over with that right peg. Must be said though that things are coping well. They are fine. Playing some good football. They're for a hurling club. Playing some great playing football. Playing some great football. <laughs> that, oh, that's tail off right. Still 10 4 fins. Just an opinion of mine now, but I feel the game has slowed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I think Parnells are more content to keep the ball up this end rather than getting up and getting the points they need. A goal could really give life to this game. It could either end it in Finn's favour or give life back to Parnell. So I think the next few scores are absolutely crucial. That is a big hit. Murta takes it very well. Only has been one goal chance so far. Now for Parnells. Well defended by the centre back, Connor Grimes. Good ball into Staunton. Staunton back out to Murta, who comes back out again. Pirouette. Murta keeping the ball. That's a good run from Killian Power getting off the shoulder. That's exactly what we want. That's a free in, surely, ref. The ref doesn't give it. Parnell's on the ball. Cluxton on the ball. That's a good ball out to Pirlo. Pirlo, I told you, loves a ping. That is a great cut out from Connor Kelly. As, a, as mentioned, we're at number 11, but defending the whole time. Two men over on this fin side now, on the break. Joe Murta and Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy coming up the pitch. Back out to Patsy O'Neill. Patsy taking the dummy solo. Trying to look for a bit of contact. Defender doing well, not giving away a free. High ball out to Murtha. Not the ball he'd be looking for. Well kept in by... Oh, not kept in by Stanton. Hard look. Parnell's with the ball here. Parnell's will be growing in confidence with this as well. Number three on the ball again. Coming back over the keeper side and they'll be looking to switch it over the whole side now. Back inside the keeper, playing a bit of walkies here. Outside the view. That's a, that's a very good ball. Well defended by Dobby in the end. Good hit from Grimesy. Great hit from Grimesy. A bone cruncher. Do you know? That's due to a few things. The amount of trips in the Shelburne and the Ransom. It's really helping him with the recovery pill. Now, he's been, he's been all talking. Them holidays. All them holidays, I'm telling you. And it's really st standing to him now. Then they're on the ball. 45 yards out. Back out to Patsy. Patsy on the ball. Flinner on the ball again. Walder. Or no, Murta. Back at the Connor Kelly. AJ's made a run to the back post. The wind seems to have died down a bit, Sean. If you're just looking up the flags here. Yeah. Definitely died down a bit, which is going to sue Finns completely, especially with that six point lead at the moment. It's going to make Parnells come out and attack a bit. That's a great run mm. inside from JJ. Bit of a high. Keeps it in. Does very well to keep it in. Comes back outside onto a stronger foot. Good run from Murta just behind him a bit. Does very well to keep it. JJ, to Walzer. Walzer with the shot. 
Great score. It's the third point of the game. Walls are kicking very well. I'm fairly sure it's 100% scoring as well. Yeah, I think it's three and three. Three and three. Parnell's bringing another sub on now here. Number 16. The old Aaron Ramsey was what I'd say for Arsenal. Number 18 as well. A bit of a dirt couch figure coming on here. Ah, which he's united. Who did they say before? Ramsey, Arsenal, sure. And number 18, Dirk Kout. Number 6 coming off. He's had a decent enough game now. I'm a bit surprised picking him off. Could just be to rest him. Or could have picked up a knock. Thought he had a decent enough game though. Dennis trying to organise kickouts here. Short kick out again, number 3. He's just stuck the gloves on. Matching his kit and the gloves. Number 7 down the pitch here. Jamie Casty tracking him. He wants now his right foot. That's a poor hand pass inside, but the number 14. Aware enough. On the ball, 45 yards out. It looks like he wants the shot all the time. Finn standing off a bit here. 21, Pirlo. That's a super score from Pirlo. And I did call that when he was coming in. He was going to control the game and make things happen. That's a good score. Finn's six up, 10 gone in the, in the second half. Five to go to the water break. Movements stall up a bit for Finn's here now. We're just looking across the pitch. Eno though, superb kick out of the ball. That's Dirk Howe picking it up. Merit the tackler. Free into Parnells. Parnells just coming a bit more into the game than the last two or three minutes. Gaining a bit more confidence on the ball. Wing back seems to get on a lot of balls today, Sean. Number seven has seen plenty of it. I think ball number seven is himself, Hank Killian Murphy. Savage amount of ball. Number 13 has looked dangerous the whole game. Is that over the bar? That's some score. That's a fabulous score from the number 13 off Parnell. He came out, showed the ball one side, went the other side, and stuck it over, using that breeze. Five point game. Parnell again growing in confidence. Number seven in the midfield is, is starting to dominate or dictate this game more so. That kick out is just holding up in the wind. And Finn's working very hard to win the ball back and do very well. Grimesy on the ball, just calming it down a bit. Connor Kelly with his left foot across the pitch. Finn's doing well here now. Solding up the pitch is Kieran Murtha. Son of No. Brothers on the bench today as well. Connor Kelly on the ball. Back out to Flinner. Flinner's looking to switch the ball here. Seems to be no moving over this side though. There's no one inside the Finn's full forward line to look for the ball to make a move out. Patine on the ball trying to burn him with his pace. The Silver Fox is quicker than you think. Steps from Patsy O'Neill. Yes, I thought. Too many steps there taken by the Rathbeely and young O'Neill. Parnell's looking to get on with this quickly. They're trying to kick it off. A soccer kick. We don't want to see that in the GA pitch, but look. We'll take it. Back cross. Looks like the keeper wants it back. Doesn't go for it. Goes across the pitch. JJ facing the man. Number seven on the ball again, countless times. Gives the ball away on this occasion. Jamie Castney playing more soccer with the ball and more and lose, end up losing the ball. Number eight on the ball, could be a bit of a break here. That's a huge score from Parnells. Just silly little errors from Vins. We're, we're doing very well to win the ball back and Parnells are capitalising on it. That was it. Parnells are showing their kicking quality in the second half. That's three big kicks they've after kicking there. Four point game now. Four point game, it could be. Vins are probably dying for this water break to, to hit now in a minute. You know, with the kick out. That's a great ball to kill power. Exactly That's a point. Couldn't agree more, Sean. That's exactly what we needed. Throw it down. Get the hands on the ball. Half back line we'll on get the ball a point here now. This water break. Dylan Stan's coming a bit deeper now. They're probably looking for him to. Flinner's inside. Flinner's inside. Dangerous looking in there. That's what they want it. That's a mark. Flinner's inside. 3,001. Free in. Free, Free in. in. Well won by Flinner. That's a great ball. It's exactly what fans would have been looking for when they were swapping Flinner and Dylan in there from half forward, forward line to full forward line. Dylan getting on the ball and dictating the play and Flinner making the moves inside. Great ball again from Killian Murphy. He's played very well tonight. Killian Murphy for a young lad. He's doing very well. Still minor, isn't he? Still minor. He's just unfortunately beaten by uh, Fingal Ravens in the minor semi-final last week but back out here today. Doing the club proud. Dylan Stanton with the free. Three breaths. And that. Oh dear. And Dylan Stanton oh <laughs> put it wide. A poor miss there from Stanton, uh, a kicker of his ability. Um, 
I think they actually have to look for a new ball here because it went out over the net. Um, How many times have you lost for words, Cotton? But <laughs> right now I've got a ball in here. Very uncharacteristic. Uncharacteristic, exactly. He's usually very focused on, on the kicks and just look, it happens to the best of us. It happens to anyone on the pitch. It's happened to Killian O'Connor numerous times for me also. Many a time, Jesus. I just didn't want to mention myself there. Well won by JJ McCormick. Back out to Jamie. Flynn are going back out to centre forward for this player now. Connor Gaddy picking up the ball on his own 65. Driving into the full or into the panels half of the pitch. Killian Murphy on the ball again. Great ball with that left foot in. Still standing on the ball trying to redeem himself. Oh, just short from Dylan. Great move on the spin, just with that wind, it's holding up a bit, so. Right now the players are getting annoyed at each other here. Nice words. Number three on the ball. Oh! Number three on the ball. Number ten. Back out to the Parnells midfielder. There's good move from the Parnells players here, it's just they're not moving quick enough to penetrate fins. Number seven again on the ball. It seems to be a tail of the two number sevens. Number eight, that's a great dummy. Oh, that's a bit of a Sean Hickey kick there now. Banana, a bit of a Keen Cassidy there, is it? I have no defence against that, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sean, look. There's no point defending something you can't defend. You know what I mean? Like, Parnell's bringing that's it up here now. Bringing that up here now. I'm just trying to get a number 20. Water break, isn't it? Water break here, and the number 20's coming on. Javier Mascherano. Good break. Water break here now, Sean. Your uh, comments on that for third quarter? My other takeaway is dropped off. Stanton? You know Stanton, Benjamin? I don't know, I think he's only. Would that be the best place in Swords? My, my personal favourite. To be honest, I would back takeaway King DJ Howard to pick a free instead because he knows them inside out. And I think after this, the players deserve a nice takeaway. A few points. I'd say they'll be up to the cock tower now after this. <laughs> Obviously, two metres apart. <sighs> Fins just need to try and close this game out now. It'll be nice going in with two wins out of two at the last game against Sands. I'm fairly sure Parnell's better than the first game, so. It's, it's, Fins are doing so. They've only conceded seven points. Um, they're defending very well. It's that against that tough breeze. It's, it's just tough to score against. And look, Staunton, um, it was a, it was a bad miss with the free. He did very well to get in front for the next one, but we just need to be capitalising on these chances, but... 96. 96 people watching. 96. Thank you to all 96 out there. Yeah. Just to remind you of the score update, it's 11-7 Finns and Liverpool 1-4-3. <laughs> so, huge result for the pool. Yeah. Leeds versus Liverpool. 3-0 Arsenal, were they playing tonight? Fulham. Championship, was it? Aubameyang yet to sign the contract, though. That's, that's the main talking point of Arsenal at the moment. Sure. There's a few people now. Just give a shout out to the people on the on the wall over there as well. Like it's a great Sorry commitment challenge to the club. I do see over there by the wall that there is a person with a hurl. And that's what we want to see. It's just over here. It's a hurling club, Ken. Look. Parnell's coming back out now. Four points down. They know they've been in chance at this game. If they can get the ball into that full four line, that's looking dangerous. Danny's doing very well, Nino's organised in there, but they know. It seems like the mark benefits this team big time. Where they can make that mark and then take the time with the five seconds to stick over the stick the ball over the bar. I think it's a Finns kick out now, is it? Gem is in the middle of them. Huh? Gem is in the middle of them. Is Gemmer up there? Yeah. Shout out to Gemmer. Cormac O'Neill. Look, we'll say no more. You know with the kick out. Looks like he's looking for Staunton. It's a bit of a low one. As Seems like it was a free. What? The referee in the yellow is. I don't know, he's throwing his hand up as he wants a point. He wants a point, does he? It's a mark. Mark him, right. Sorry, I thought he was saying Guinness. Kill him, kill him Murphy on the ball again. I'd say it's at least 30 possessions for young Murphy. Kill him Murphy on the ball. Over to Martha. Martha's worked tirely so all game here today. He's doing very well. Very rarely gives the ball away. Arsenal fan to Arsenal fan, Dylan to Martha, or Martha to Dylan. I wonder, that's the question you have to ask yourself, if Dylan, would he rather win tonight or Aubameyang sign the contract? I wonder what he'd pick. He's a good Finns man, definitely win tonight. He's a great Arsenal man though. He's every jersey since 1998. Signed by Burkamp every year. 
So I don't know. Patsy on the ball here. Seems like it's afraid Brilliant. of Finns. Finns taking her time with this. Patsy. Patsy's demanding the ball here. He's putting the hand up. Silver Fox wants it. Stiff breeze here. You can tell by the, the national flag over there and the Finns and Dublin flags. It's a huge breeze. We can see on the on the stream there. Oh, Eno's looking for it here. He's plowing up the pitch. He's just actually looked to Cluxton dead in the eye. Oh, no, he's gone back. He's going for it. Patsy Sends him back, puts pressure on himself. No, Patsy just needs to convert it. It's a big free. Does they go five points up? No. White ball from Patrick O'Neill there. He's actually not from Rathbill. Um, we're, di we're disowning. No, it was a very tough free, as we mentioned there with the wind. So, Patrick needs to get head, head back up here now. Number seven again on the ball here. He's been rampant all day. He's like a young Jack McCaffrey. Back out to five. Number eight. Is he called him Clucko? As we mentioned previously, it's the mark that's killing Finns every time. They're doing very well, the Parnells full four. Anyone they've brought in, that number 16 that's coming in there, they're doing well to get down front of their men. And now he's taking far more than five seconds hitting the ball. Left foot though, with this side shot, it's a bit tougher. This will put three in it. One score again. About 13 minutes to go. Oh. No, that's wide. I think that was a wide ball. Yeah, it was a wide ball. Huh? 15. I thought it was five. Oh, it was five for the kick out. I'm sorry, sorry. I'm, that's, look. I'll own it. Allowing it. You know what to kick out. Big last now, 13 minutes. The wind's picking up pace a bit here again now. Hurricane Katrina. Dylan Stana just he's a constant out ball for them kickouts. Himself and Killian Power have been dominant all day on Finn's kickouts. I'd say both teams have done very well on their own kickouts. Oh, a bit of a collision there in the middle of the pitch. Jamie Cassie comes out the better round with the ball. Seems to be rolling around a bit as if he's in a movie. Jamie Cassidy wins the free and up he gets. Line on the ball. Natural habitat. House on here and there from Connor Kelly. Over to Mike Hill. The three young lads working well together. Finn's yet to use a sub yet. Finn's yet to use a sub yet. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. That's <laughs> <laughs> the on the ball. There's a bit of pushing and shoving going on across the pitch, but we can't see it. Walls are on the ball, looking for his fourth point. Walls have been very impressed with today, Sean. Patsy on the ball. Match so far. That's interesting now. I, I would have went with Killy Murphy so far. Oh. That's well cut out. Patsy just trying to trying the, the tough ball inside there, but the ball of all hands there seems to be far. there's a wave of parallel players attacking here now. They're really going for it. And again, we mentioned it. Their half back went very comfortable on the ball. Cass Hammond. That was Cass Hammond there. I know, yeah, I did play with him. I don't know if he's, I know he's playing hurling with Crave, so just wondering if he's playing football with Parnells. Connor Kelly on the ball. Good kick out. Finns just need to try and manage the game now here because Parnells are looking very dangerous when they're getting the ball and getting into that full forward line. Still start taking on the man here. He's got the pace. Midfielder gives up behind him. Still start and still going on his right foot, taking down the left side of the pitch. Over to Walzer. Walzer coming inside. 45 yards out. Back to Murtha. Back to Jamie. Jamie, 55 yards out. Coming across the pitch to Killy Murphy. Killy Murphy on the ball. Gets off the shoulder. Killing power. One kill into the other. Back out to Jamie Cassidy. Good dummy. Back out to Flinner. Flinner will look to do something here. Finn will try and penetrate this. Attacker just keep the ball completely. It's a long time to keep the ball. 10 minutes. Parnell's managers shouting in to try and press the ball. Dylan Stanley coming up the left wing. Slowing the game down a bit. Again, Patsy with his fitness and his football ability getting up and down that pitch constantly all day, wanting to get on the ball. It's exactly what we want. There's a bit of an after. What? It's a free out there. I thought it was a bit of a late challenge on Patsy, but the ref saying it was a throw ball. Bit, very harsh, very harsh. Bit harsh, and there's a man down for Finns here. Keith Hayward, the Bogan Aussie in again. I heard he's a huge fan of soccer, and he doesn't like to be called. Doesn't like to be called that he's from New Zealand. 
Is Sutter Lachlan the best, um, the best uh, kit man in the club, would you say? I'd agree with that, yeah. Up there with them, yeah. He's on a railer. Trailer hasn't been seen in a month, has he? No idea. I don't think Rowdy's been with us since the end of the year, or since uh, the lockdown, so it'd be great to see him back in with us now, but I just haven't seen him around. Blow. A great blow, Growler is. Great man. <laughs> We're getting all, all the balls and jerseys together. So just a bit of a stoppage there, so I'll probably add on two minutes at the end. Free out. They go backwards. Just noticing how dark it's got, Sean. Uh, that's, well, that's, that's autumn now. Incoming, well. Summer's over, Sean. Summer's over. School's in for summer. Or for autumn, is it? But look, number seven on the ball here again. Number seven, that is a goal. Again, they put the big man now in there full forward to try and test any champion a bit with that long ball going in. Seems to be no ball for you now. Tactical ploy, we can guide into it. Tactical ploy now. Kick out now. Good kick from Martha. Patsy on the ball again. Ah, very harsh for in my opinion. That's two bad ones on Patsy's. Bring the ball up. Four points still in the game. As we mentioned before, it's very tough against that win, but they're defending well against this Parnell's team. Cold, isn't it? Well, Back defended by Conor Kelly. Coming across the pitch now, Carol Martha. JJ looking for on the far side. The wind's actually picking up more pace oh, here. Put it in. Ah, jeez. Ron Grobs on the ball here. Crosby's on. Crosby's oh, making his first appearance with the senior team this year. Gives it over across to Patsy. Patsy coming to the pitch, giving it to Walzer. Walzer doing very well, showing out in front. Parnell's following tackling hard. Walzer keeping the ball. Trying to make his move inside. That's well ran by Patsy. Trying to get onto his right foot. Patsy coming around. Short, short again. Finns have put a good few short there today now, and a few wide in the second half especially. Parnell's trying to break out of the fence, but Finns have the whole midfield clocked up. Bit of a break here on there if they move the ball quick. And it seems like they're in here on the defence. Number two. Great tracking by JJ McCormick. Well tackled by Grosie after. Three in. Interesting. Well, the wind is really it's blowing really down. Up now. I'd enjoy these last five minutes where we're with you now, Shane. I don't think you'll ever get this job again. Look, <laughs> I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying my time here on the commentary box, especially with yourself. It's, it's been um, bringing a few subs in here now. Young Foley coming in, and Murtha's brother. Come on, Murtha. Dara coming in to, looks like around the middle third. There's our brown envelope. And Gluckson's off here. Sean's going to say well done to him here. Ball's in. <coughs> Seems to be... Well done, Stephen. There's the Parnell's going to have it. And so, Danny Campion doing superb getting it out of there. Body on, bodies on the line stuff from the Gallons. Karen Martin coming on the pitch, shot on left foot, right foot. Edge done Staunton. Arsenal to Arsenal. Finns need a score here. Just to settle the nerves a bit. Four points up. But with that win... And the goal chance Parnell has just created, it's going to be very tough to keep them out for the whole game. Ah. And Dylan loses the ball. Number three out. Number eight on the ball. Coming strong down the pitch. Takes it by Kieran Murtha. Cut out by Grosey. Well done by Grosey. Coming across the pitch now to JJ. JJ has a lot of time and space. Needs to get his head up. Try and pick the right pass. JJ happy to keep it. Back out to Connor Kelly. Back out to Grimesy. Over across the Rangroves. Right, right. 
Ooh, tough tackle there. All I heard was ball, though. Balls are up in the corner. Back out to Murtha. Finns look very happy to keep the ball here. Patsy gives it to Dara Foley. Dara Foley back out to Dillon. They're very happy to keep it here. Finns with three minutes left, four points up. Parnells need to push out. There's no point to holding a sweeper back here. Gramsy on the ball. He can just keep it. He's going to look to draw the man here and pop it. Back out to Conor Kelly. Same thing happened again here over the far side. Dylan Stone on the ball. I reckon they can keep for the next three minutes. Ryan Grove's a bit of burst of pace here. Doing well. Here we go. Grove's on it again. Back out to Walsh. This is a good move. Ah, yes. Why ball he's calling. Looked over the bar from our angle, but unfortunately just a wide ball from us. That was a great move though from both Brian Walser and Ryan Goves. Did they deserve the free there? They deserve the free, I suppose. Yeah. Again, Parnells get the short kick out now. Number seven on the ball. Number 20. Parnells need to get the ball in here to the full forward line if they're going to want to cause any trouble. High ball going in. Danny Campion under it. Four or five fans went under it and they battled out. Killian Murphy on it. Oh, the Free net. out, Shirley. Bit of a punch on the head after there. Yellow card. Waste a few seconds. Fans happy to play on. Ball's up the pitch. Dylan's down on the ball again. Patsy making a great run up the line. Patsy O'Neill on it now. Patsy O'Neill going to try and use his pace to get in behind. Good dummy there. Patsy loses the ball. Parnell's at the ball again. Countless turnovers in the second half. It's just mount the pressure on The defence is dealing very well with it, though. Fins look as if they have two or three men back at this stage. Just trying to close out this game. 140 we have on our clocks. Probably about three or four minutes left. High ball in from Parnell's. Well defended there from Danny Cammy, but the number nine or number eight still has it. Free in the ref's giving. This will put it back to three points, a one score game. Fins should get on the line. Vins need to just get on this next ball now and keep the ball. Because Parnell's have dealt with that dangerous ball all day and eventually is going to work. And it might work in the last minute. There we go right now. There's a bit of confusion here. I think they, 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 tried, to, they tried to take a quick shot, but Eno was well able for it. Eno screaming for the last skill on the line. But Parnell's lucky, I suppose, to get the second chance here, Sean, to just stick it over the bar and make it a one score again. Good score there, 11-8. A low enough scoring game, but I would emphasize how strong this breeze is for both teams. So it is very tough attacking against the breeze. Both. So I think how much the Parnells get in the first half? Three points. Three. How and much? Fins have got two. Two points in the second half. Like it's 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 not easy to score against. Even when you have huge kickers on the pitch, like well, Eno hasn't got a chance really to kick the ball going for scores. But when you have good kickers like Dylan Staunton and Paul Flynn. They're even struggling to kick it with their distance. Danny Campy coming up the pitch now. Fins will just be hoping to keep the ball. Well done by Conor Grimes. Back up by Danny Campion. And he needs to get back. Giving away again over that side by Fins. It seems like a magnet for Parnell getting the ball back. Midfield has gotten a lot of ball in this second half. Out to number 20 who's made himself a presence since coming in after the water break. Number 7, here we go again. Down this line, constantly. Back into number 20. Pirlo on the ball. Switching the play, number 10 I think it is. Yeah. Number 5 making a good run down the corner. Well tracked by Conor Kelly, he's been doing that all day. He's had a very good year, first year with the senior footballers and he's not going to continue to get better, Sean. He can probably play another game, his engine is that big. Big engine. Loves a point to Heineken as well. Great man to drink a point to Heineken. You know this, uh, Finns get over this now. It's been, has that scoreboard not changed either? I think it's 11-8. 11-7. No, they got the point there, I think. 11-8, oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. My co comment there just wasn't concentrating there for a second. <laughs> good kick out for me now. Looks like it's up for Patsy O'Neill. Patsy O'Neill doesn't win it, but the good mark down by the Parnells player. Number seven on the ball again. Left foot this time. Looks like it's a good ball in. Dylan Staunton working very hard getting back. Number 19. In the corner. Parnell out there. Begging them to put it in the box. Finn's defending well. Could be off the ground there. 
Finns have 4v1 in there, should win it back off them. Pernas do very well to come out of that corner with the ball. Ball in. Well won by Dobby. Two going for the same ball. Two or three people going for the ball. Same should be a free. Well done by Dobby. Walzer all the way back there, win the zone ball. Connor Kelly on the ball again. Dara Foley doing well on the ball. Gives it back in to Grimesy. Well out by Ryan Groves. On to Patsy O'Neill again. Time's up on our clock, up on the scoreboard. I'd say the ref is a bit out of line for added time and for the water break. Ryan Groves on the ball again, looking to take on this man. Just keeping the ball. Jamie Cassidy on the ball. Great switch of the play there. Now Dunstall's all the space in the world just to keep it. Man, you want the ball? Moving up the pitch. Game over. Very good win for Finns. 11-8 in the end. Pernell's put up a good challenge in the second half, especially with that win. But Finns ultimately just defence set up very well. Done by their spine of Danny Campion. Connor Grimes, then Ian O'Reilly behind them. Man of the match. I give it to Brian Walzer. Brian Walzer. I think Killian Murphy deserves a serious shout out as well. Two very good performances uh, from the two lads. Brian Walzer finishing the day with three points from play. I think it was the most from any player from play. Um, but yeah, just very happy to win now. And Anne's next in two weeks' time. Thanks everyone for tuning in and uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Good luck from me and Jan Hickey. Sean. Have a good night. Well done, sir. I did crack. Uh, you did a little bit. It was good.